Hello everyone, how are you? This is Ujwala and today we are going to focus on what our solar system exactly is. Let us start. As we all know, the sun and the celestial bodies which revolve around it form the solar system. It consists of large number of bodies such as planet, comets, asteroid and meteors. The gravitational attracts between the sun and the object keeps them revolving around it. The earth as you know also revolve around the sun. Along with earth there are other planets like Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune. Let us see each one. First we will start with our sun. The sun is the star at the center of the solar system. Here, it is nearly perfect sphere of hot plasma heated to incandescent by nuclear fusion reactions in its core, radiating the energy mainly as light infrared radiation. It is by the far the most important source of energy for life on earth. Its diameter is about 1.39 million kilometers that is 864,000 miles or 109 times that of earth and its mass is about 330,000 times that of earth so it is very amazing here the sun is the nearest star from us it continuously emitting huge amount of heat and light the sun is the source of almost all energy on the earth in fact the sun is main source of heat and light for all the planets now let us talk about the planets the planets look like stars but they do not have light of their own they merely reflect the sunlight that falls on them the simplest method of identifying the planets from stars is that the stars twinkles whereas the planets do not also the planets keep changing their position with respect to the stars. Now let us see each planet in detail. So first we will start with the moon. Some planets are known to have moon satellite revolving around them. Any celestial body revolve around another celestial body is called the satellite. It is the fifth largest satellite in the solar system that is moon. The moon is thought to have formed about 4.51 million years ago, not long after the earth. Now about the Mercury. Here the planet Mercury is nearest to the sun. Here it is named after the great god Hermon. Translated into Latin, Mercurius Mercury, God of the God, Messenger of the Gods, Mediator between Gods and Mortal. So likewise the name was given for Mercury. What comes next? Now, it is about the orbital around the Sun takes 87.97 days the shortest of all the planets in the solar system. So this is how it is different from all other planets. Now comes Venus. Venus is the second planet from the sun. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. That is why it is very much beautiful. You can see over here. Venus orbits the sun every 224.7 earth days here the Venus lies within earth's orbit and so never appears to venture far from the Sun either setting in the west with a rotation period of 243 earth days it takes longer to rotate about its axis 
than any other planet in the solar system. But the Venus do not have any moon over there. Now let us move next. What is it? It is our Earth. According to radiometric dating estimation and other evidence, Earth formed over 4.5 billion years ago. The Earth orbit around the Sun is 365.256 solar days. The Earth is the only planet in the solar system on which life is known to exist. Some special environmental conditions are responsible for the existence and continuation of the life on the Earth. This includes just the right distance from the Sun so that it has the right temperature range and presence of water and suitable atmosphere and the blanket of ozone. Now, after this Earth, we have another good looking planet named Mars also known as Mangal. How it look like? The Mars is approximately half the diameter of Earth with a surface area only slightly less than the total area of Earth's dry lid. Here the next planet that is Mangal, the first outside of the orbit that of Earth. It appears slightly reddish and therefore it is also called a red planet. Now it is Jupiter. Jupiter is iconic great red spot in a giant storm bigger than Earth that has raged for hundreds of years. The Jupiter's familiar stripes and swirls are actually cold windy cloud of ammonia and water floating in an atmosphere of hydrogen and helium. Here Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar system. It is so large that about 1300 Earth can be placed inside the giant planet. So just think over it. Now comes Saturn. It is a gas giant with an average radius of about 9 times that of Earth. It only has 1 8 the average density of Earth. However, with its larger volume, Saturn is over 95 times more massive. Average orbital speed is 9.68 km per second. Here, what makes it unique in the solar system is its beautiful rings. These rings are not visible with the naked eyes. You can observe them with a small telescope. Saturn also has a large number of satellites. Now, what come next? They are the largest planet and the farthest one. Here it is Uranus. These are the outermost planet and here it can seen only with the help of large telescope. Like Venus, Uranus also rotates from east to west. The most remarkable feature of Uranus is that it has highly tilted rotational axis. As a result, in its orbital motion, it appears to roll on its side. Now let us shift towards the last planet, that is Neptune. The Neptune is, as you can see over here, it is very slow, dark, cold and wiped by supersonic winds. The ice giant Neptune is the eighth and the most distant planet in over all the planet in our solar system. So here the Neptune is the colder one, the darker one, the farther one and the last one. So likewise we learn about the variety of planet in sequence starts from the Sun, the first that is Mercury, then the Venus, then Earth, Mars, the largest Jupiter, beautiful Saturn, Uranus, the slower one Neptune. There was also one planet named Pluto. Actually, till 
2006 there were nine planets in the solar system but Pluto was the farthest planet from the Sun in 2006 the International Astronomical Union that is IAU adopted a new definition of a planet and here the Pluto does not fit this definition it is no longer a planet of the solar system so now a planet has a definite path in which it revolves around the Sun this path is called an orbit and the time taken by the planet to complete the one revolution is called its period of revolution the period of revolution increase in distance of the planet increase from the Sun here beside around the Sun a planet also rotates on its own at the top the time taken by the planet to complete one rotation is called its period of rotation so this is what about all the eight planets around the Sun in our solar system in our next video we will learn about how our total galaxy look like inside the whole satellite along with that we also need learn about the artificial satellite and other one thank you much for watching keep supporting keep watching subscribe the channel and click the bell icon Thank you very much.